So, I'm going to assume the reason why you clicked on this video is because you want to improve at Project Zomboid and your gameplay has been looking like this. This is top 10 tips to improve your Project Zomboid gameplay. Tip number one, play the tutorial. This tutorial takes roughly around 5 minutes to complete. It just shows you the basics of Project Zomboid. Tip number 2. After finishing the tutorial, you want to make a brand new game. Click on Solo, and the playstyle that I recommend is Apocalypse. I will say right now... Uh, I will say, if starting out on Apocalypse is just a bit too much, you can go into Custom Sandbox and lower the zombie count, which will help. Tip number three, spawn location. Now, I would go with, I would go with Rose, Rosewood. I would choose Rosewood. The zombie population is relatively small, and when it comes to the looting, all the buildings are within walking distance. The town is very, very compact, small. You don't have to walk or drive too far to get to a certain place within the town. Let me make it clear, do not spawn in West Point or Muldra. And the reason why is both of these towns, since you're just starting out in Project Zomboid, the zombie population is through the roof and they are harder to navigate. Tip number four, after choosing your spawn location, you're going to have to select an occupation and a set of traits for your character that will be surviving this madness. If you're not taking Burglar as an occupation, always take Gymnast as a trait and for Keen Hearing, it's just a must-have. Always take this in all of your builds. Both of these traits help out massively in combat. If you want to see an in-depth guide for making a build, not just any build, the ultimate build, I'll leave the link to that video in the description down below. Also, while I'm here on the channel, if you haven't subbed already, make sure to sub. Would be a massive help trying to get 1,000 subs. Anyway, back to the video. Tip number five. Just before you start to run off and explore the amazing world of Project Zomboid, Press the pause button, click on options, and you're looking for ISO cursor visibility. Now by default, I think this is on 15%, and the difference between 15% and 75, which is the max you can go to, is, is, is big. Tip number 6. Now, depending on where you spawned in Rosewood, make the starting house that you spawn in your base location kill all the zombies in the surrounding area make sure it's safe and secure and bring all the loot back to their starting house Tip number seven. I've seen this time and time again with new players to Zomboid. When they're fighting a group of zombies, they just never back up. Always make sure you're backing up. Tip number eight. This might seem like an obvious one. When in combat, make sure you're zoomed in. This clip right here, I'm zoomed all the way out and you can barely see what's going on. Tip number nine. Don't full on sprint, reserve your stamina. You can just outwalk the zombies. Sometimes it's okay to jog. It just depends on the situation. You're very rarely going to have to jog. Tip number 10. The helicopter event can arrive during either day 6, 7, 8 or 9. And it will come between the hours of 9am and 7pm. If you think you're safe inside your base, I'm sorry to tell you, you're not. The solution to surviving this event is just have a car at the ready and just drive off away from your base. Once the helicopter has finally flew away, you can return to home sweet home. A great success! With that said, I hope this video helped and you enjoyed. I'm gonna leave all the links to my socials in the description down below. Check them out. And most importantly, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.